Welcome back to Mr. Bowman Makes and the third in our series on building a house with make code in Minecraft education. Let's have a look where we're up to. Okay, so if you've been following along with the previous two videos, we built a foundation in the first video, we built four walls in our second video, which means we are now up to our third medium goal of building a roof. So let's have a look at the kind of roof that we're gonna be building today. As you can see, it's got this stair step effect. What I would like you to do this time is something a little bit different, is to pause the video and see if you can figure out from the previous code that we've already made, just write down the steps that you think we're going to need to take in order to actually create this kind of stair step roof. So I'm going to count down from three and then I'm gonna continue the video. Like I said, pause, see if you can figure it out and then we're gonna continue on. So three, two, one. All right, let's continue. So our first step is going to be taking the wall code from our previous video and using just a single layer of that. And then we're going to have to go over to step two, which is going to be taking that wall layer, getting our builder, moving our builder up and then moving it in diagonally to get that first part of the stair step effect and to create another wall that's slightly offset from the next one. So this is going to be our roof gradually having that stair step effect. But what you can see here is that we're having the lengths all the same size still. So step three is going to be, how do we take that layer that we created? And then if we have our builder go up and inwards and put another one in there, how do we actually take that and shave off two blocks for each layer that we create? And we repeat that process over and over until we get to our final top layer. So we've got to try and figure that out for step three. Step four is going to be like our walls. We're going to try and recolor our roof so that it's a bit of a darker color. And again, you could put this to anything you want it to be. Uh, I'm just choosing a darker wood color for what we're going to be demonstrating. So let's jump over to Minecraft and see how we can do all that in make code. Ah, oh, look at that. Another beautiful day in Minecraft. The bees are buzzing, the sun is shining, and we're going to get into make code. And now that we're in make code, we're going to go to our functions. We're going to make a new function and we're going to call this create roof. This is where our roof code is going to live. We're going to make a new number parameter and call that roof length, just like we have for everything else. And I'm just going to rearrange things a little bit so it's easier for us to see. I want to rearrange our teleport to origin code because at the moment, when we use our wall code, it's always gonna teleport back to the origin, which we don't want. So we just want it teleporting to the origin when we create our walls, because we're gonna reuse our wall code for our create roof. So if we go over to our functions again, we're gonna go up and grab our create wall function, and we're gonna drag that into our create roof, and we're also going to then get our roof length and put that into our create walls function as well. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get our create roof function and put that into our main house chat command. We're also going to get our length variable and plug that into our create roof so everything syncs up nicely. Now we're going to grab our repeat and we're just going to use this temporarily to be able to see the effect of what we're trying to do with our walls on our roof. We're going to take our create walls and we're going to put that into our repeat. We're then going to go down to builder and we're going to offset our wall each time that it's created we're going to move it forward in space and then we're also going to move it left which is inwards so we're going to get this staggered stair step effect when we run our code so let's run our code house seven and three and see what happens okay so we've got our foundation we've got our walls and now we've got this stair step effect when we go to build our roof so that's actually good we're going to go back now and have a look at how we can improve that in the Builder tab, we're going to get the Builder move forward, up, and left. And this takes the previous two commands that we were using and turns them into a single command. Now we're going to take out the up value because that's already part of our wall code. We're going to remove the other two commands and bring this one in where they were. And then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to put it back at the start of our code because we also want to create an opposite overhanging offset for our roof. So rather than being forward by one, it's forward by minus one and left by minus one. So it's actually going to be back and to the right. So let's get rid of our previous code that we don't need anymore and go back and have a look. Okay, house seven, three. And we've got the usual foundation and the walls. 
And now we've got our offset roof happening, but it's still weird because we have the same length for all of our different bits of roof. So the way that we're gonna fix this is we're gonna use a new type of loop and this is the while loop. So this will always run rather than the repeat, which only has a certain number of times it will run. This will run for as long as we want it to until a certain condition is met. So a true or false condition. So in this case, we're gonna to go to our logic and we're gonna get our comparison for less than or greater than. And you can see all the different ones that we can use here. We're actually gonna use the greater than or equal to, which is down the bottom. We're gonna drag that into our while false part. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable to be able to control all this. Uh, we don't want to take our length variable and use that directly. So we're going to create one called length count. And so we can change this however we want for our while statement. So let's go okay. And we're going to come in and set our length count back at the very start of our code here. And we're gonna change this to not only roof length, but we're gonna do a sum. Because we've offset it by two outwardly, we want to add two to length count in order to make sure that it all lines up correctly with how high we actually want our roof. So now that we've got that, we can go back to our variables and we're gonna change our length count each time our while loop runs. And we're gonna change it by minus two. So by changing it by minus two, our length count is gonna count down to zero. And while it's doing that, we can test for whether it's greater than or equal to zero each time the loop runs. And that's how we're gonna work here. So the thing that we wanna do is also add our length count to our create walls so that each time we have our length count, it's going to reduce for the length of our roof. So let's have a look at that in action. And there we go, we've got our stair step roof effect and it's looking very cool. We've now taken the same piece of code, the row code, and used that over and over in different ways to create all these different kinds of uses for it. But we're not done yet because we're going to change the color of our roof. Over in our create line code, we're gonna add an extra else if statement. We're gonna duplicate one of our place blocks and we're gonna duplicate the check to see whether block type is equal to a particular word. We're gonna make our roof a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna choose dark oak wood planks. And in order to differentiate these, I'm gonna differentiate the first one as light and the second one as dark. Now, because we've also uh, got our create line and our wood back here, we've got to change that to light as well. But over in our create walls, we don't have a command that we can change to dark. So we actually have to go into our function first for our roof, and we're gonna add another block type text parameter to be able to change this ourselves. So now that we've got that in our create roof, we need to change it for our create walls. So if we come over to our create walls and we're going to edit that function and we're going to add in the text parameter block type again, after we've entered that, we're gonna go done. And we can now change our block type for both our create walls and create roof. So I'm gonna to go to my create walls and I'm gonna change that to light. And then I'm going to go to my create roof and change that to dark. I can now take my block type parameter and drag that down into the create line block type. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing for my create roof down here because we have that for our create walls now. So anything that we write in our house code for our light or dark is gonna cascade down through our different functions until it gets to the create line. And it's going to choose which one it's going to place down based on the text that we write in. So let's test that again house seven and three. And we've got our foundation, our walls, and our different colored roof. Fantastic. We have constructed our very own house using different block types, different lengths for different things such as the roof. And we've used different kinds of loops, while loops, repeats, all kinds of different coding structures to be able to create this customizable house. Very cool which now means we can come back to our process and tick off our build a roof medium goal. And with that, we can also give ourselves a triple tick because we have succeeded in achieving our big goal of building a house using make code in Minecraft education. Now, as a special bonus video that I will put out after this, I'm going to take you through how to actually add doors and windows and steps and other little bits and pieces 
to your house that you've just built so that you don't have to do that manually if you don't want to. So that's gonna be a stretch goal, an optional extra video. If you'd like to come back and watch that, definitely like and subscribe this video so that you don't miss out on getting that as soon as it drops. Which brings us to the end of this video. So I hope that you'll join me again for the next one. But until then, bye for now.